And there's the mannequin piss. For all of you guys that want to travel thousands of miles, spend hundreds of dollars to come and see it. There you go. These are mannequin piss weenie donuts. Do you have waffles right now? Oh, it smells amazing in here. It's a successful day so far. And look, everybody's getting their waffles out right now. <laughs> she laughs. Actually, those waffles look a lot better than the waffles I just had. And look, they even have mini waffles. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm talking to you guys from Brussels, a beautiful city located here in the country of Belgium. Now, I actually came all the way out here, of course, to dabble into all of the things that Belgium is famous for. The beer, the fries, the chocolate, the waffles. However, this trip, these last four days, have been anything but relaxing i actually haven't had time to do much because yeah the weather has been absolutely horrible it's been raining and so damn cold the last few days and today i'm actually heading to the airport to go to madrid but i figured i need to hop on i need to redeem myself and i need to go find me that belgium waffle that i was looking for so join me for a small little adventure from here in brussels i'm going to show you guys around the city center right now i'm actually walking into the grand place which is the main square of the city and i'm just going to show you how beautiful it is then we can head over to the mannequin piss and i'll show you guys that monument and yeah just talk to you guys a little bit about what i've been up to the last few days and why i haven't really made any videos here besides the rain so yeah this here is the grand place guys how beautiful is this now I actually visited here a few years ago and I got some awesome pictures from this plaza during the summertime and it was absolutely full but nowadays in the winter and the fall there's not really much tourism a lot of the tourism are local tourists but here in this main square is also where you can find um, the free walking tours if you're interested in those they leave several times a day and they're super cool and very informative I highly recommend taking one of those now around the plaza there's also some different restaurants you have like what is this some belgium restaurant a greek restaurant some irish pub and of course the starbucks now this starbucks is actually where i've been hurdled in the last few days just knocking out a bunch of videos and trying to push them out as fast as i can for you guys um but yeah unfortunately i don't want to post every single day so the videos do have to take some time to edit now i might have i might be regretting coming all the way out here to europe in the winter time or late fall and that is because well weather has not been by my side it's been extremely cold and i think that the people are also a lot more colder because of the weather we'll just put it that way i'm gonna blame it on the on the weather but yeah, one thing I have loved doing is getting lost in these streets. The beautiful cobblestone streets, seeing all the incredible architecture. It's truly something special. And another thing that really stands out about this city is that there are fountains like this one here on the corner, absolutely everywhere. And quite shocking to me, I've actually noticed a lot of like the locals walk up and they fill up their water bottles from these fountains now i actually just so got, just got done walking by a fountain where a bunch of pigeons were taking showers in there and yesterday i actually seen people fill up their water bottles inside of there so i probably won't do that but another great characteristic about the city is that there are signs on every corner that tell you exactly which direction you need to be walking so we're gonna head over this way and i'm gonna show you guys the mannequin piss which is the small little boy peeing statue that is like the most famous thing here in brussels don't know what it sig signifies but we're gonna go check it out together before we continue on with the belgium waffle hunt now i mentioned earlier that fries are also extremely famous here here you can find these little shops where they sell these big handles of french fries and they put all kinds of sauces on them they're really nice now as I mentioned, it is extremely slow out here this morning, but I had to take advantage of the dryness and come on out here and record a little something for you guys before I left Belgium once again without filming because a few years ago, I came here five years ago when I was backpacking, didn't film a damn thing, went on a bunch of pub crawls, had a crazy time during the summer, 
and I regretted it. Now I'm also leaving without making too many videos, but I think it's because this is definitely one of those places I should have came to during the summer, or I would have to say a little bit later on in the winter time, once there's actually, I don't know, winter markets, things going on on the street, but I mean, the city is as European as it can get. I mean, you got all the restaurants with the tables sitting outside on the streets, which I really like. The cafes that have shit internet. Every single one of them has horrible internet. So yeah, I definitely have been inside Starbucks more than I'm proud to admit. Where is this thing? Mannequin piss, this way. I just got done walking from this street though, didn't I? All right, let's go down one more. Oh no, the block is hot. The block is hot. <laughs> it's so funny to me how the police sirens um, sound everywhere in the world you go to. They always sound so different. So, it should be somewhere, somewhere around here. Let me look at my map guys now i actually don't have data because i purchased a plan for okay so it is one more this way and then to the right so i did purchase a plan for 40 euros but unfortunately it already ran out and it lasted me a whole like four days and i bought it in germany so yeah it didn't last long at all it's been expired the last few days and life sucks without it to be honest now of course a lot of chocolate being sold here as well now it's quite impressive to me i came here on literally a two hour bus ride from amsterdam but you could literally come here from cities even way closer than that in the netherlands and i must say the vibes are completely different than the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, you had a lot of people on bicycles, a lot of people chilling, a lot of people just, I don't know, it seemed like the world moves a lot slower in Amsterdam or in the Netherlands in general. And here, no, you don't really see people hanging around drinking coffees. You don't see people doing too, too much. Everybody's just on the go. Seems like the hustle's real out here. Wow, this chocolate shop smells amazing. Look at the street art too. There's not much of it in the city, but there is enough to, you know, fulfill yourself with that. Now this here is the mannequin piss that we're actually about to go up and see right now. Wow, look at how good that chocolate looks. And it smells incredible. Now, I actually walked into a chocolate store a few days ago and bought me a whole bunch of pieces of chocolate and just went to town. I actually ate so much, guys, that my stomach hurt after so don't recommend doing that but when in rome right or when in belgium you got to do what you got to do but yeah look this street is i guess what symbolizes this whole country you got the chocolate store you got the french fry store oh right here french fry store and you got waffles so we might just pick up a waffle right here next to the mannequin piss Oh wow, these look so good. All right, so this has to be it where everybody's taking the pictures, of course. Voila. And there's the mannequin piss for all of you guys that want to travel thousands of miles, spend hundreds of dollars to come and see it. There you go. Now, something super interesting about the mannequin piss is that, well, it's actually extremely small. It's probably like, I don't know, I want to say a foot? Yeah, a foot and a half maybe, if that. And it's quite cool because they actually dress the mannequin piss up differently depending on the holiday or time of year. Now, right now, the dude's actually naked, but yeah, sometimes you come around and you see him dress now i'm not sure exactly why he's so iconic 
I'd love to know. If you guys are familiar with the story, please let me know down in the comment section. I should have done more research, but I don't know, guys. Like, to be honest, I don't really look up statues and things like that when I go to places. I just kind of go with the flow and check everything out. And yeah, I mean, you guys are seeing it firsthand in the video. This is what a lot of touring big European cities is. You walk around, you admire the building, you see a church, you see a statue, and then you continue on. So let's do that. Oh, sorry. Let's say bye-bye to this cute little mannequin piss statue. Actually, you know what? Let me get a picture of it. That's going on to Instagram later. All right, I think we're good. We successfully visited the mannequin piss. Now, I think I'm actually just gonna go ahead and swoop up a waffle from one of these locations. Let's see what they got over here. Mannequin piss, whoa. These are mannequin piss weenie donuts. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? So you can get a little mannequin piss cock with any kind of toppings you want. <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Oh my God. And yeah, that is exactly what you guys think it is. So pretty unique donuts. If you guys wanna come check this place out, it's literally right in front of the, the mannequin piss. So those are vagina donuts. Oh, and these are mannequin piss donuts. That's pretty cool. But this video will be a fail if we do not get the waffles. So you know what? Let's actually just come over here and we'll try one of these waffles. Hello, good morning. Do you have waffles right now? Um, what's the original? What's the best one? Plain with sugar? Okay, let me do one of those, please. Thank you. Wow, look at how crazy these um, waffles look. This one looks like it has like some strawberry jam, some chocolate, some sugar. Now, I just took the original one because, yeah, this looks like a little too much for 10 a.m. Oh, no. We beat the crowds to the little mannequin piss statue. Had to get that thumbnail opportunity in. But look at the waffle on the outside. Now this place right here is actually called Li Funambal Waffle. Look, everybody's losing their mind about the waffles. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what people come to Belgium for, is to eat waffles, eat chocolate, take pictures with the mannequin piss statue, and yeah, that's about it. Do people like to eat waffles in the morning or at night? All day? Is it is it a very popular tourist thing or also for Belgian people? Yeah? Yeah, I can imagine the whole world visits uh, Brussels. Actually, you know what? Let's take these glasses off for a second. Let's come on inside. Let's pay. How much are you? Two euros. Two euros? Yes. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to pay with card? Yes. Thank you. Oh, it smells amazing in here. I beat the crowd. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right, so we definitely beat the crowd. All right, you know what? I'm gonna actually hold this waffle right here for a second. I'm gonna put these glasses back on for a second. Oh, sorry guys, bear with me. Bear with me. I gotta get that thumbnail, you know what I'm saying? All right, I think we made it successful. Now. This here is a successful day so far. And look, everybody's getting their waffles out right now. <laughs> she laughs. Actually, those waffles look a lot better than the waffles I just had. And look, they even have mini waffles. But here we go. Our waffle adventure was not a fail this morning. How awesome is this? And we got to see the mannequin piss. I mean, whatever. Making the most out of our, our last few hours here and our, last, or our only hours here with, yeah, dryness. all right so you can imagine though if you're seeing all of those crowds right now what this place looks like in 
the winter time, I mean in the summertime. In the summertime it is absolutely crowded, but um, yeah, during the fall there still is big groups of children as well, um, school groups. I can imagine many of them locals are from other local areas of the city, but I mean of the state, of the country. All right, enough jabber, enough just talking about random shit. Let's bite this waffle and yeah, let's get it over with. Let's try this thing. I've waited so many years for one of these. And I waited so many years to be absolutely disappointed. I don't know. To be honest, this could be my fault. This tastes like a waffle that was probably made yesterday. Yeah, it's extremely hard. It's really chewy. I don't know. You know what though? It's all good. We came, we saw, we did not like the waffle. That is my saying, <laughs> so. Yeah, we tried it though. Definitely not for me. I feel like I'd rather eat a. Let me know if you guys know what the Eggo waffles are. The ones you stick in the toaster and you put some syrup on it back at home in the US. I'd rather eat one of those microwavable waffles than this, but. Maybe your boy took a L this morning because I bought it next to the statue. I was gonna go to another spot down here but i figure why not let's just do it near the mannequin piss statue but yeah let me know down in the comment section what the city looks like to you to be honest the center of the city where i'm walking around right now is very very beautiful but if you walk like 10 minutes in any direction the city the city in all honesty starts looking a bit rough now one thing I have noticed while spending my last few days here in the city is that there are a lot of immigrants here from around the world and there's a lot that are homeless and they live on the streets and um, it actually gets quite sketchy walking around at night a few nights ago I was walking around and these two big guys come up to me and they start asking me where I'm from Asking me, what am I doing here? What do I want to see? Do I want some drugs to party? And I was just like, no, nah, I'm good. And then they kept following me, talking to me. And I was just like, shit, let me just jump into a cafe before I go down the wrong street. Because as I mentioned, they do get quite, quite sketchy. And there are a lot of people out here selling drugs on the streets, homeless. I was actually by the North bus station a few days ago, which is nothing out of the ordinary. Pretty much every major bus, train station in the world, on the surroundings, it's pretty ghetto. And that was no exception. I saw syringes everywhere. I don't know, a lot of really ugly shit that I was like, man, if I was traveling to Europe for my first time, if I had just landed here first, uh, impressions were coming out of the train station and seeing that, I'd get the hell back home. I mean, I'd get the hell out of there, fly back home and just walk around Skid Row if I wanna see that shit. And that's exactly what it looked like as soon as I made it out the train station. But as you can tell, there are some beautiful areas to it. But this is about where, yeah, all of that stops is right here in the city center. So, you know what? Let's actually take this small little street. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more. Let's continue on with the tour a little bit longer. Um, I don't know what to do with this. I think this might be bird food. Hurts to say that, but it is what it is. Wow, kids love the main squares. I always thought that if I was like a kid that age and my parents brought me to Europe to see this, I'd be like, man, what the fuck? Take me to Chuck E. Cheese or something. But no, the kids seem to enjoy it. Now, I was one of those people that I actually never traveled until after the military. I got my first passport when I was 22. And that's when I started to travel the world and I feel like it gave me a little bit more appreciation of the places that I went to because of the fact that I was able to, um, you know, I was older, wiser. 
Wow, look at these magnets. I actually bought a few of these yesterday. These waffle houses. I bought a waffle, chocolate, and a beer house. They must all get their merch from the same place. There's the mannequin piss. <laughs> but yeah, traveling while I was older gave me, a, um, I think it was good for me and it gave me a nice, um, I totally, totally lost the words of what I was saying because I was watching this guy. Um, well, yeah, I'm glad that I didn't travel until I was older because it definitely changed my perceptions about everything. And I think that if I honestly would have seen a lot of these faces, especially like Europe, uh, European countries at a young age, I wouldn't have appreciated as much. I think definitely if you're traveling with kids, places like Asia, um, even Latin America are great places for children as there are beautiful, like very beautiful beaches, islands, very affordable, a lot of kid friendly activities. Here, of course, in Europe, wow, look at this, Belgium hot chocolate. That store looks absolutely beautiful. But um, although there is beautiful places here in Europe, like you can go to Greece and find some amazing islands, Croatia, Montenegro, beautiful spots. They're not really like kid friendly destinations. You go to those areas and people are just partying their ass off, losing their mind. And yeah, that's about it. Now they're doing some construction here. I think this is the railway station. This is actually where I came out of my very first day. Now, look at all these little um, houses. You can tell that the Christmas markets are coming alive, baby. Now, I'm heading to Madrid tomorrow, as I mentioned. Then I'm gonna be in Madrid for around four days. Probably shoot uh, two or three videos for you guys. Um, I'm a little bit rusty because I haven't been on the camera like that, but I hope you guys are still enjoying these videos. But I'm gonna shoot two or three videos in Madrid. Then we're heading to Morocco. And the Morocco series should be completely different than this. It should be a lot of interacting with the locals, people happy to see you. It should be fun. It should be a great experience. I love Morocco. It's a country that, well, for me did a lot of things. I have met some amazing friends there that live in the Sahara Desert that I'm gonna be going to visit. It also was the first place where I had one video do extremely well and it got me from like 600 subscribers to 5,000. I'll never forget that day I woke up and I was like, what the fuck? This is crazy. Um, and YouTube said that I made my first hundred dollars. Dude, I lost my mind that day. And now look at us. We get to do this for work. We get to travel the world and make videos. Man, life is crazy. But yeah, guys. Let me know what you think about Brussels. Let me know what you guys think about Belgium. Is this a place you'd add to your list? I mean, granted, I didn't show you much. I showed you the city center, but I don't know. For a lot of you guys, that is probably enough. You'll probably be like, hell yeah, I wanna come. But for a lot of you, this might not be the place for you. We got the Marriott, McDonald's. A lot of beautiful hotels and restaurants on this street. There's the front side of the station. And yeah, this is Brussels. Sorry for the lame content. Sorry that I didn't give you guys a fulfilling video. I'm so sorry. Truly, it hurts my heart that I wasn't able to come out here and give it my best effort, but it's because weather was just not by my side. And sometimes you can't prevent those things. But as I mentioned, I think, uh, well, even if, that doesn't, if it doesn't do nothing for you guys, it makes me feel a lot better that I was able to at least share something with you guys from this city because there is honestly, drop your stick, dude. <laughs> Crazy ass people everywhere in the world, man. But um, yeah, it makes me feel better that I was able to come out and record something for you guys. So with that, with that being said, I'm gonna leave you with the sign of Old Faithful right there in case you guys are watching this video to see what a McDonald's looks like in Belgium and yeah I'll see you guys very soon for another video from from Europe from Spain see you guys there you were always smarter. I was the one to